Tasso Plantner, one of the founders of SAP. He helped revolutionize the business of computer processing. Today, he continues his groundbreaking research at his institutes. A business leader, a research visionary. Now, Hasso Plantner is ready to reveal the next big thing in business computing in an exclusive interview conducted by the man who knows him best. SAP presents Hasso on Hasso. Thank you for making this interview possible, Professor Platner. So, you have been very successful in your career, so why aren't you out sailing? I have been sailing for 10 days just recently in the Caribbean. You cannot sail uh, the whole year, so I have some other things to do and actually some other fun things like my institute in Potsdam. Professor Platner, you have been researching on in-memory databases for quite a while. Can it really work that we can keep all data of a whole enterprise in memory? And what are the benefits? Well, relational databases are around for more than 25 years now. They are the backbone of most enterprise systems. But it's time for change. We have seen a huge revolution in hardware over the recent years. We get now much bigger boards. We get up to two terabyte of main memory on one board. And uh, we can now, with this in-memory database, uh, store data in two ways. The traditional way in rows, and a new way, which is actually not that new, in columns. And when this row and column store together, we can achieve significant improvements. We need much less space for the same amount of business data. Uh, and we achieve a much higher speed. And what happens if there is a power failure and we lose the data in memory? Uh, yes, we have the data in DRAM and uh, if there's a power failure, data goes away. But don't forget these machines are highly parallel. We can reload and reconstruct the tables uh, from permanent storage, which by the way is not disk anymore, it's SSD or flash or any other um, device with uh, permanent qualities. We reconstruct the tables at a very high speed. With that, uh, I'm sure that this is a, a pretty good revival for the relational database. So tell me, where do you see the advantages of such a database? And is it only speed? No, not at all. Um, speed is just an enabler. Speed is always good. But with the memory databases, we can do things we couldn't do in the last 25 years. Think about you asking questions and you get some information from a computer and you can instantly ask a follow-up question and another follow-up question. Think the way you work with Google or Bing. You select something, you search, you get some idea what you're searching for and what the answers might be and then you ask a second question. So with this database speed we can achieve with in-memory databases of this nature, we can ask follow-up questions. Uh, we can dive into data at a very high speed. And when I mean very high speed, this is human reaction speed, less than one second. We can run through millions of tuples in less than one second. And tuples are? <laughs> tuples. Um, tuples are values for attributes which refer to a given key. For example, the address of a person. One of the leading experts in the field of databases, uh, Larry Ellison, calls this idea wacko, uh, ridiculous, complete nonsense. He even referred to some drugs being taken, and that is on his website. How do you take that? I don't know what wacko means, uh, but as an expert as he is, um, I'm pretty sure that he reads all the publications in the field of databases and uh, a lot of stuff has been published recently. So papers are about insert only or non-locking inserts or let's take object data guides. I call them skeletons. Um, I, I think he knows about this and he knows that this is coming. So uh, I cannot 
really comment on his comment. So you recommend to ignore his argumentation and go ahead and offer this new technology to our customers? What argumentation? You mean Wacko? Uh, no, I, I would show what you have to your customers and to your prospects and uh, show them how the stuff works. Show them the speed, show the new applications uh, you can build, uh, and all you, what you have done. Show the potential of a real-time response. Show them emergency restarts, how quickly you can reload the data from permanent storage. Uh, I'm sure they will love it. There is a famous uh, database expert, uh, uh, Jim Gray from Microsoft. In 2006, he predicted disk is yesterday's tape. This is happening now. We are at an inflection point, and uh, we will see in-memory databases with uh, unlimited access. We can support any application which speaks SQL. We can do completely new applications like uh, predictive analytics, um, pattern or correlation-based analytics. We can do planning. We can do planning in live mode. We can do simulations. We can do multi-step queries at human speed. I mean, less than one second. So th th this is enormous. Take, take one of the apps uh, we tested, uh, a very simple app like um, Dunning to remind customers that they have to pay. We could drop the response time from 20 minutes to less than one second in the lab. That means you can run this program from your phone. You can get the top overdue customers on your phone. This is a completely new application. So I think there is a revolution coming on the application side based on the speed which enables these new applications. You and your team have been working hard. So what's up next? What are you working on now? We're looking forward to, to other things. Uh, didn't you get my email? Hmm. It might have gone to junk mail, so please tell me again. <laughs> we're, we're working now on how the programming models uh, have to change. Uh, I think this change in the database is uh, so significant, despite most of the technology was only already there for 20 years, but the changes now will be significant in the application code, and uh, we try to work on that a little bit. Thank you for taking the time and answering all my questions. Uh, by the way, I like your hairdo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't do that next to that. That's great. Yeah. Good? Good. Excellent. Excellent.